The identical tangent circles are inscribed within an equilateral triangle as shown above. What is the ratio of areas of one circle to that of the triangle? So now here the problem is just to find out the ratio of the side and the radius and I think then we can answer the question because we know the area of equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 of side is square and area of a circle is pi r square. Since we have to find out the ratio of area, so what I am doing is I am assuming that the length of the side of this equilateral triangle is 4 and using this I would like to find out the radius and then I will quickly find out the ratio of areas. So a few constructions which are needed are that the first thing we have to do is join the center of the circle with the point of tangency because this angle always becomes 90 degrees and the same thing I am going to do across all the cases. Also we can join their centers with each other and this also forms an equilateral triangle because here each side of this triangle has the length equal to twice of radius. This is radius, this is radius, this is radius, this also is radius, radius and radius. Now we have to very very carefully draw another geometry to find out the radius to relate the radius with the side of the equilateral triangle. So what I am doing is I am joining this center with the bottommost side, joining the side here and similarly I am making the same construction to the other end as well. Now, now let's look at these figures. The figures are that since we already know that this part is radius, this is radius, this part is also radius and we also know that this part is twice of radius which means since we had the entire length is equal to 4 so the remaining part at this end will be 4 minus 2r whole divided by 2 because the remaining part has to be distributed at both the places because it's a symmetric geometry. So this part also should be 4 minus 2r divided by 2. Now that we have this part we should also look at this triangle. Let's call this triangle A, B, C and P, Q, R and uh, S. Let's look at this triangle A, P, S. This triangle APS has this angle 90 degrees and since this line is joining this vertex this angle will be 30 degrees because the entire 60 degrees has been divided into two parts. So what we look at is that now we have a right angle triangle which has two angles 30 and 60 degrees, third angle 90 degrees and here we have the two sides as well. This is R, this is 4 minus 2R divided by 2. Now the ratio of the corresponding sides, the ratio of the sides in case of a 30, 60, 90 is given by if side opposite to 30 is R, then side opposite to 60 should be root 3 times of R. That means root 3R that, that we are getting using the 30, 60, 90 should be equal to 4 minus 2R divided by 2. Now we simply have to simplify this expression, it becomes 2 minus R that means R root 3 plus 1 is equal to 2, so R becomes equal to 2 divided by root 3 plus 1. Now that we have the radius we can quickly find out what the question is asking. So the ratio of area of one circle to that of the triangle. So the circle has area pi r the square which means pi times 2 over root 3 plus 1 whole square divided by the area of the triangle and area of the triangle will be root 3 divided by 4 of side square. Now let's quickly simplify this expression. This becomes pi 4 divided by root 3 plus 1 whole square times root 3 times 4. This 4 cancels it out further. So we have pi in the numerator and the denominator is root 3 times 3 plus 1 plus 2 root 3. So we have applied the property of a plus b whole square, a square plus b square plus 2ab. So eventually the final result that we have is pi divided by root 3, 4 plus 2 root 3 which on multiplying root 3 inside the bracket becomes 4 root 3 plus 6. Now let's see if any expression relates with this pi divided by 4 root 3 plus 6. Pi divided by 4 root 3 plus 6 is option A so that becomes our answer. I hope you enjoyed learning with this video. Thank you so much.